Hello, Northwood football fans. It's 2014 signing day. I'm Travis McCurdy, joined by head football coach Pat Reitman. And coach, you're back in the recruiting saddle again. How did your first year back go? Well, I think it was a very good year for our football program. Our assistant coaches here did a great job. We identified a lot of uh, good players, uh, student athletes that can come in here and get off to a great start academically and, and learn our system. And, and down the road, we'll find out uh, a lot more about them as players. You'd been coaching for a long time, then you got out of it. Did you find getting back in the recruiting process to be easy, or did it take you a little time to get back used to it? No, it, it, it hits you in the face very quickly how important recruiting is, and uh, you have to be aggressive, and we have a great product here to sell, the opportunity to get a first-class education, a personalized education, and an opportunity to join a football program on the ground level and help us rebuild a program. And so we have some great opportunities for the 28 men that have committed to come here and play. And we are really anxious and excited to get them on campus and, and uh, begin to become a part of their life. Taking a look at the list real quick, I noticed it's particularly defensive line, a lot of defensive linemen. Is that an area that you guys really wanted to focus on in this class? Well, we need more depth on both sides of the ball up front, uh, Travis. And so D linemen, offensive linemen, uh, some of them will get moved around during fall and, and we'll – uh, by the end of the season, find the best place for our big players that are coming in. But absolutely, that was an area of emphasis to get bigger up front on both sides and get more depth. Taking a look at the class, also, it, probably the highest percentage of Michigan kids. Last few years, we've kind of gone outside. Now, there are some Chicago kids and Ohio kids there, but really, there's a lot of Michigan kids this year. Is that par also part of the plan to get back to maybe getting better ties in the state of Michigan? Well, we're going to go wherever we feel the best match for our program and for our education. And, and uh, this year we were very fortunate to land some terrific players here in Michigan. Uh, the Chicago area is very good to us and uh, we're still not done recruiting. And so uh, there may be some er other areas throughout uh, the United States where uh, we still may able to get a player or two. That's my next, what's gonna be my next question is how a lot of people might think this is the end of recruiting, but it's particularly at our level this is just the start. There's a long way to go for the recruiting process. Absolutely. We actually will have a visit uh, date tomorrow and have about 20 players on campus. And, and uh, we're still trying to supplement a few needs that we need to, uh, to complete our class. And, and so we will continue to recruit for another month and, and to make sure that we have every hole filled and, and identified and, and making sure that we round out our class with every need uh, that we need to meet. Any positions in particular looking to round out with those needs right coming up? Well, we'd like to get a few more skilled players here. Uh, I think that's real important and um, uh, to add to our depth. And, and so that's our, our primary focus right now will be to, to get some more skilled players. Now that you've been back on the job, back in the head coaching role, how was the last few months? How's the transition gone from athletic director to football coach once again? Well, it's been a whirlwind. It's uh, very fast-paced with the recruiting, and everything happens so much quicker because of social media, and, and kids are making decisions quicker. I've also found out that uh, kids don't talk on the phone anymore. It's all by, it's all by uh, texting and uh, emailing, and so that element is kind of new for me because I've always been a people person, and, and so that was an area that I had to uh, adapt to. Uh, but it's been great getting to know families, getting involved in, uh, out there on the road and, and selling what we believe is a great combination of academic excellence and, and a football program that has a strong tradition and, and finding young men who will want to partner with us and, and help us get better. Now looking ahead, you, you mentioned there's a recruit day on Friday. Now this part of the recruiting a lot of times involves you going all over. You mentioned all over the country. like. Now you guys are going to – this is really when the traveling begins for you guys at many times. Correct. There may be a trip to Florida. There may be a trip uh, out west. It, it all depends on where we are with our needs and, and where we are with our scholarship money. And so uh, this is a great start, uh, a, a great foundation, but there's plenty of work to do yet by all of us on our staff. Well, Coach, uh, thanks for joining us, and uh, congrats on getting you through your first signing day, and congrats on getting better at that social media and stuff, because that may not have been a strength a couple years ago. Let's be real honest. Uh, it's still not a strength, right, but there's improvement. Well, thanks, and congrats on a great day. Thank you very much.
Thank you for watching.